Do you remember the old Star Wars movies? Like the first one, there's this scene where there's this giant battle cruiser flying by and the surface looks really cool. There's all these little details on it. And I always wondered, how did they do that? And the magic word is kit bashing. Hi, my name is Svan with Hall Creators, and today I want to talk about kit bashing. It's a technique where you take several models and recombine them into something completely new, much like a collage or something. And in the Star Wars movies, they did it like that. There was a film crew, and they went out to the shopping centers, and they bought up all these toy model kits, toy model kits of World War II tanks. And they would take off the turrets and then glue them onto the surface of these battle cruisers. And today we pretty much do the same thing in 3D modeling. Uh, I think a month ago I made a video about 3D model databases where you can find free 3D models. And what you basically do is you go on there and you download a bunch of models and then you recombine them and make something completely new. So today I want to coin a new term, calling it 3D model kit bashing, where you go to these free sites and you download all these models and then recombine them into something new. A uh, good uh, software for that is ZBrush, where you can import all the OBJ or STL files and arrange them in a way that you want and then click on the Dynamish function and that will put like a new mesh on it and recombine everything and then you can add a wall thickness and export it so it can be 3D printed. Thank you for the attention. Please subscribe to the channel and see you again in two weeks. Bye.